Hey guys, Stable Player 90 here, and today we are back for the NR2003 ShopRite series at Michigan for race number 15 in the 2003 ShopRite series season. The top six are all within mathematical limit to take over the points lead with Asher Byron being behind Noel by one point from the points lead. Let's see, who do you think is going to make this race at Brooklyn, Michigan? Oh, man, I was about to say, if Zena doesn't make it, he's killed in rookies. Robbie Gordon continues to miss races, of course, because that's nothing new. Jason Hedleski, three straight entries. Nice. Respect. Who do you think is going to hit the pole? Will Aaron Abel get pole number six on the year? No. Eric Drew. Abel got seventh. Hedleski, eighth. Who gets unlucky last place here? James Carson, because he always gets it. Drivers, what to the your heck? car. Oops. What the heck, man? Look up with the FPS, man. FPS is horrible ever since Martinsville. Trying to fix my laptop. Oh, good gosh. What the heck? It's like I'm playing on a PS1 right now. What in the world? Green flag is out for Eric Drew. I don't know what the heck is going on right now. Um, Jerry Smith goes to the inside. Jeff Green completely just died. I don't know what the heck happened to him. Josh Turner. He's going to move all the way up to third in one corner. That's nice. Now, will there be a lap two caution is my question. Because we've had a lap two caution, in e lap one or two caution in every race but Auto Club. What in the heck, man? Oh, Jarrett got a nice run off that corner as Eric Drew's going to lead lap one over Jerry Smith and Josh Turner. We don't have a lap one caution, it looks like. Not to my knowledge. Let's see, are we going to have a lap two one is the question. As Jim Sales is pushing Jung Zena up the track. Oh gosh, Nadu and Brody almost wrecked. They're clear coming down the back stretch. The top four have broke away already. What the heck, Craven? Uh, Craven was 16th game. Eric Drew continues to lead over Jerry Smith, but I think Smith is gaining on him. Let's see. Just a tiny bit. Hey, we didn't have a lap two caution, but what the heck? Oh, gosh, that was close. Josh Drake and Tom Sloan almost wrecked. Gosh, this is a horrible... Horrible uh, FPS right now. Oh, what were two racing had to check up so he didn't wreck into the eight car of Lolo's art. You gotta check up is Fernanxa Fernando is gonna push Jetney and add checked on the standings. Jetney is actually the highest car in the standings that has no laps led and he's like 20th in the standings. So that's something unfortunate. So let's see if he can get something done today. Is He's sitting back as 18th at the line. As those guys, those top four just ran away from the pack. Turner's going to the inside of Jerry Smith. As Eric Drew is just freaking running away, dude. Can anyone catch that guy? He won Auto Club. Oh, Turner's got no draft, so he's going to get passed by Smith and probably Noel as well. Look at that four tenths lost in one lap. There's a fly in my face. As Oh, man, Aaron Abel fell all the way back there. They're starting to get a bit spread out. Jerry Drive must have hit the wall or something. Yeah, I think he did. Jerry Drive was into the wall. He's got a right side. And it's a caution. Never mind. That's why. I was like, why is he going so slow? Eric Drew's going to win back to the caution. We didn't have a lap two. It was a lap five caution. Where's the 99 car? Let's see what happened. Four wide Schrader. Oh! Burton Meteor. 
see what happened in a different angle. So, looks like they went four wide. Marlin just paint. Oh no, 22 slid up on the 40, and yeah. That didn't look too good. Now, will these guys pit? Probably not. This meteor is probably done. Yep, there he goes. Now, will these guys pit? That's all I'm looking at right now. I do not think so. Maybe some strategy wise. No, no, no. You guys are just going to be dumb. Drive is probably going to pit, but that's it. Um, no, these guys are staying out. So. Going green on lap 9, 10? Okay, 10. Green flag is back out at Michigan. Looks like James Meteor and Ward Burton both called it quits on the race while Jerry Drive looks like he was able to fix his right side damage a bit. He didn't look like he had too much damage from the incident, so maybe he can actually contend for some spots here if he can get around Elliot Monroe and Sterling Marlin. Here comes Noel. He's going to go right down to the inside of Jerry Smith. Is he going to poke his nose down there? As Josh Turner fell back as he was part of that four-car breakaway. What in the world just happened to my FPS, dude? It literally just went down to 10 for a second. Eric Drew continues to lead every single lap of this race as Noel was not able to get to Jerry Smith's uh, side there. As Smith is trying to catch the 97 car. Drew's just too good. I think pit stops is going to make the difference, but let's see if we can get some actual fun racing up in the front. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is fun. Oh, man. Jean Zina moving his way back up. Um, man, what the heck? Did he just lose time? No, he literally didn't do anything. Craven's going to go to the inside. He wants to move up from sixth in the standings. He's going to move to fourth as he goes under Jeff Green. Speaking of points, where's Asher Byron? He's sitting... Oh, he's one point behind Noel, so literally one spot would just take his points lead. And Jimmy Reed, he's in the middle here. I think he's part of that top six, either that or he's in seventh. Oh, we got four wide jet memes on the outside. Nadu pokes it under the 19 of Josh Drake. Who nearly won Dover and Las Vegas. I mean, Las Vegas was kind of just an easy thing. Oh, is he going to... Oh, man. Oh, this does not look nice. Oh! Nadu just body slammed the 19. It was smart of the 16 to back off, so he didn't cause a wreck there. Smart move by Rob Rody there. What the heck? My FPS is going from, like, 120 to 10 for no reason. Anyway, Christopher Abel looks like he got around Jerry Smith for that second spot, and it's looking like Fontana all over again with him and Eric Drew running 1-2. As Craven's going to go to the inside here of Jerry Smith, but Christopher Abel to the inside of Eric Drew, and that's the first lead change we've had the whole race. Unfortunately. I have seen cautions when Kais are coming out of the pit and they wreck each other coming out of the pit road. So there could be a wreck going coming out of pit road. So there might be another caution this race, but I don't know. I could be wrong because me, of course. Oh, Jung Zena dives to the bottom. He's slowly making his way up. He's going for third now on Gavin Grogu. And he's going to take the spot as Eric Drew just freaking destroyed the 18 car of Chris Frabel. As Asher Byron moves up to 8th, and Noel fell all the way back to 12th, or, sorry, is that, no, that's 11th, sorry, no, 12th, gosh, I cannot speak English. James Carson has been getting a lot of unlucky last place qualifying spots, but here he is running in modestly in the 24th spot. Oh, what the heck? ORT Racing's in the wall. Is there a caution? No, there's not. Uh... I have to check. He's holding up a Sun GMC. I have to check real quick what the heck happened. Gosh, if I can click the play button. Looks like he gets into Josh Turner. Oh, and he hits Aaron Abel, and the 15 just hit the wall. That, nah, I don't know. It's not really anyone's fault. And we got a caution, speaking of which. 
Yep, I think we're racing back to the line. It's going to be Eric Drew, of course. Oh, it was Craven. Craven and Jarrett. Oh, Craven was sixth in points. Oh, no, that's going to hurt him in the championship running. No Rex back here, right? Good. Jarrett was sitting 10th in the standings before the start of this race. Now they're definitely going to fall back. What happened here? It looks like as they went into the corner, Fred tried to poke his nose under Dale Jarrett and forced him up high, and then Craven just hadn't... He was just innocent bystander there. Luckily, no one hit them. Let's take an onboard with uh, Jason Hedlitsky over here in the 90 car. See the two try? Yeah, he just got a little loose there and then hit the 88. That wasn't really his fault. Let's check out the two real quick. You can see the two car of Fred. He tried to poke his nose in there. Gosh. Um, you see, you could see him get a little loose there. Actually, not very well in that point of view. Let's see this one. Yeah, here, look. You can see him get a little loose. Oh, no, he did not get loose. He actually hit the quarter panel of the 88. As I freaking missed pit stops, of course. No, I didn't. I barely actually was able to catch it. Let's see. Is there going to be a funky mishap? No, I mean a funky pit cycle ending thing. I cannot speak English. Funky pits. Chris Frabel's already out. Jerry Smith, some guys are going only two tires. Chris Frabel and Jeff, uh, Jerry Smith and Jeff Green are already out. Eric Drew is going to lose tons of positions. Aaron Abel, I think, is trying to repair damage for whatever reason. And he's just chilling in the pit box. As it looks like Dale Jarrett had a fuel leak and Ricky Craven's out. So that step means, uh, what's his name? And Craven is definitely not going to be in the mathematical. Uh, he's not going to have eligibility eligibility to take the points lead as the maximum amount of points you have to be behind the leader to have a chance at even taking the points lead is 150 because then you have to have the, the points leader either not start the race or finish last with no laps led and you have to win the race with every like the most laps we're going green on lap 21 so green flag is out perfect timing only four cars out of the race is we're on lap 21, so that was literally just halfway we just passed when we hit the green flag. Eric Drew fell all the way back to 11th at the line, but he's already at 10th because he just got around Jimmy Reed. Jerry Smith leads, but Jeff Green is right behind him. Can Green get around the 24? He's going to probably dive bomb him. There he goes. He's going to go to the inside. Jeff Green is going to take the lead. Is he going to avenge his Texas runner-up finish? Good gosh, what just happened? Green, top five running order. Green, Smith, Zena, Chris Frabel, and Gavin Grogu, your top five. Whoa, Smith got a nice run, and here comes Craven. I mean, not Craven. Chris Frabel to the inside. We got four wide. Jimmy Reed's pitting. Noel almost wrecked into Asher Byron. That would have freaking swung the points. Like, would have swung it like a carousel, dude. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to say at that point if that happened. Jimmy Reed went down the pit. He probably ran out of fuel or something. I don't know what, but... Oh, they're four wide back here. I don't even know why Jimmy Reed pit, but there he is. Guys, we've got four wide for the lead. Oh, Zhang Zin is going to take it. Jeff Green loses all that, that uh, t momentum because he was on the high line. Gavin Grogu looking for his first win of the season. Uh, he led the most laps at Bristol. But wrecked out. Either he wrecked out or he just wrecked and lost all the spots. I'm not sure. I don't quite remember. As he has not even led a lap. But here comes the man, Eric Drew, to ruin everybody's lives and win this race automatically. He's going to take the lead and not even let the 20 lead a lap. Wow. How harsh. Mr. Abel is going to try to say something about it. No L just got to the inside of Rob Rohde like nothing. And he's going to slide him all the way up the track. Fernanksa for Nanrev as well is going to push the 12 car all the way to the front. The top 20 have kind of broken away. The other guys need something to catch back up. And then Jimmy Reed's just chilling coming off too. 
Eric Drew running away from Christopher Abel is Jerry Nadeau's in third. What the heck? It, it, this is literally Las Vegas. It's literally Las Vegas and Auto Club all over again. Except Eric Drew's replacing Kurt Busch. And Christopher Abel's uh, replacing Bobby Labonte. Here comes Christopher Abel diving to the inside of the 97 car. I don't think... Yeah? Yes. Sorry. Um, I had some... My mom just asked me a question. Sorry. Um, Eric Drew's going to take the lead. That was unprecedented. I, even mean, I didn't even mean to say that. That, just, that was just instinct. Anyway... Jerry Nadeau is going to go to the inside of Christopher Abel for second. And they're breaking away a bit, especially the 97, because he's such a sweat. And Lolo's are one Dover. He's looking for win number two on the year. Can he get to the inside of the 18, who finished third at, actually, in that race? And look at Tom Sloan moving his way up. Has had a... He had a... He had one... He has one top 10. It was a ninth or 10th place at Bristol. He's had some great runs, but just unlucky finishes and just bad luck in general, just being involved in unnecessary wrecks he shouldn't have been in at all. And, yeah. He's sitting, like, what, 21st in the points, so he really needs a good day here. Jason Hedleski, solidly top 20 all race long, and he's still trying to get up front. It's, Eric Drew's literally extending his lead every two seconds. Whoa, I, whoa, the heck, Asher Byron just had massive speed going into turn three. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? Eric Drew is leading by freaking almost half a second here. As Chris Frable's four tenths back. Oh, I think they're gaining on him, that's why. They just gained a whole bunch on him on that uh, trial here. Yeah, here he comes, Jimmy Reed, what the heck. Um, Tom Sloan moves his way all the way to the, what, fifth position on Jerry Nadeau, so, that's insane. Jeffrey Chev's up here, too. Oh, Rob Rody slid Jeff Green way up high, look at Jerry drive, hit the wall, had so much damage, and here he is, top 20 now, underneath for Nixa for Nan Rev. Are they going to catch him? Asher Byron's going to dive to the inside of the 18 of Christopher Abel, and he's going to take second, it looks like. Oh, man, but now Drew's going to run away, of course, because they had to slow up. Look at this, 198, 194. Come on, dude. Too wide is Tom Sloan is all the way on the outside, pinched up there, so he's going to lose spots. What is this, the top eight? Top eight broke away. Three wide. Second, that's what Drew wants to see. What in the world, dude? Why does he just do that? He goes from 80 FPS to like 16 for no reason. Whoa, driving for Nanrev. He's trying to get around him for a while. It's, oh, never mind. Remember when I said top eight broke away? Forget that. They all came back. The Drew's just running away. Nadu's trying to catch him. Jerry Nadu, he's running out of time. They have 10 to go. Is this going to actually be a fuel mileage win? Dude, no way. Fuel mileage. That would be actually insane. If Eric... Whoa, gosh. Tom Sloan trying to pinch the Pontiac nose under Derry Smith. And he's trying to still. He's not going to be able to, though. It's Chris Frable is just going to just dive bomb it. Jeff Free Chev also broke away. So top three have broken away from that big pack. Jerry Nadu's trying to catch Eric Drew. Will Drew get win number two on the season? Noel and Asher Byron. It's just one position. And then uh, if Asher Byron finishes just one spot ahead of Noel, he'll literally take the points lead because they're only one point apart. And none of those guys have led laps. So this is going to be close to the points. Jeffrey Chev going to go down to the inside of Jerry Nadu for second. You guys got to stop racing side by side because you guys are not going to catch the 97. Whoa, Fernando slides up high. Jet Meme trying to make his way into the top 10. Jerry drive up into the top. Freaking 10. What the heck? And now Christopher Abel is going to freaking go for a top. For, oh my gosh. Stop it. If you dive to the inside, Christopher, stop it. 
You guys need to catch the 97. Stop doing that. Look at the speed difference. He's like 10 miles per hour faster. That's why you can't catch him. Gosh, dude. Jeffrey Chev moves up to second. Can he catch Eric Drew? Three wide behind him. That's what he wants to see. Gavin Grogu dies to the inside of Christopher Abel for third. Asher Byron and Noel swapping places. Jason Hedliski is battling for a top 10 spot for some reason. As we have, what is that, seven laps to go in Michigan? Yeah, look at that speed difference. Come on, Chev. Someone pass him, dude. Is anyone going to catch that forward? I don't think Jimmy Reed's going to be lap traffic. It's all going to come down to fuel mileage at this point. Kevin Harvick's definitely going to lose tons of points in this race. He's just not had a good day. He's had a horrible day. Horrible day. He's not gone out. I have not seen him in the top 20 all day. As we have six to go. And here comes Chris Frabe. Oh my gosh. Look how much time you just gained. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the eight. I thought he was going to actually dive bomb him there. He didn't. I think they're running out of fuel. The 97 went way slower than I thought. Either that or it's tire wear. Is Christopher Abel going to go to the inside of Jeffrey Chev here for second? Or is he going to play the safe one? The safe uh, route. And try to just catch him based on draft. Oh, whoa. He just checked up. Is he pitting? No, he's not pitting. We got any pitters yet? We got six to go. Five to go at the line. Sorry. Jerry Drive had... Had a great run. He he's had a great run so far this race. He had hit the wall with Ward Burton and James Meteor, and here he is in the top ten. They are literally actually catching the ninety-seven. Actually, no, they're not. They're losing time. And here comes Christopher Abel going to the inside of the twenty-one of Jeffrey Chev. He's not going to get there though. Why does he keep checking up? Is he what? I don't know. What? The heck? They did it again. Oh, Dave Blaney ran out of fuel. Blaney's out of fuel. We got any other pitters? No, it's just Blaney this time by. Dave Blaney does not have enough fuel to make it to the end. So that means we definitely have to fuel mileage at this point, guys. Luke Anderson diving to the bottom of the Sun GMC for, I believe, 20th. Here comes Jerry Drive. Noel moved with the fourth. And you guys still haven't caught Eric Drew. Yeah, look at the, why does Drew get so much more speed into the corners? There comes Blaney coming out of pit road. I don't see any other guys coming in. We have five to go. He won't be like, oh, somebody else came in. Who is that? That is Kevin Harvick losing even more spots than he was already. And, and more points. Uh, I don't even know if the 21 is going to catch him. He has three laps, now two and a half, and two at the line. Whoa, what the heck? Chris for able dive. Wait, is he pitting? Jeffrey Chev is pitting. He doesn't have enough fuel. Jeffrey Chev. Oh, no, somebody else is pitting with him. Oh, we got Jet Meme. Oh, no, we got tons of pitters this time by. Oh, man, does Eric Drew have enough fuel to make it to the end? He did take a long time on fuel, and Christopher did not, so I don't know. It's going to be strange. I have no idea, and look, the pack's coming. We're coming to the white flag. He's good. One lap to go. Do they have enough fuel? Christopher Abel it is so far behind. He's over half a second back. Now, less than half a second. Oh my gosh, they're coming out. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? Oh my gosh, Dumbo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Caution is out. What the heck? Eric Drew has nothing to lose. He's going to take the win. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the heck just happened? <laughs> Eric Drew gets a second win. Tom Sloan second. What the heck just happened? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um. Oh, my gosh.
Eric Drew just got his second career win. What? John Will just died. He might actually be dead. John Andretti, he just went so far and then up into Christopher Abel and then kills everybody. Dry, Revler, Headless Key, everybody. And then this happens. How does this happen to somebody? Oh my gosh, dude. Good gosh, this is horrible. That is the craziest ending to a race I've seen in a long time. And look at this top 10. Look at this. Chris Frable didn't even get a top 10. Josh Turner, Josh Drake. These guys all got top 10s. That was the craziest ending I've seen in a long time. Eric Drew gets his second career win. I hope you guys like that video and this race. Next is Infineon, so who knows what the heck is going to happen there. What? Wow. Look at this points battle. Noel leads by 11. And then no one else is in contention to take the points lead. 189 behind. 200 points back is Lolo's art. Good gosh, dude. These guys are insane. Wow. Craven died. Craven fell all the way down. Where is he? Ninth in points. Woo. Okay. That is something to unpack. Um... Wow. That was a crazy ending. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Oh, guys, I cannot believe that just happened. I hope you liked that video. <laughs> please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. What the heck?